my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. A question from a gentleman who is uh, practicing uh, different stuff, and when he's practicing without the metronome, there's no tension. It, everything seems to go all right, and and there's no you know straining and stressing. And then when as soon as he turns on the metronome, it's like uh, it, everything tenses up and the muscles become stiff. Um, and that's such a great example of what happens in the brain when we push it. There are two zones, and I've been talking about this before. There are two gears two basic modes that your brain can work in. One is war and one is peace. Once it's in war mode, and war doesn't have to be world war, it's just a matter of stress. It's a matter of trying to deliver in the moment. Like when you're in a football match or whatever sports, like, that's war mode, that's stress, and that's not negative. It just means that you wanna do something, you have a target, and that's all you think about, right? You just wanna go for it. And when you, are turning on the metronome. Suddenly, there's a, there's, a, there's a dictator in the background that says, now, now, here, here, now, go, go, right? And you have to follow along. But when there's no uh, click in the background, you can basically you know, be at just that level where you are, right? You don't have to, there's no dictator anymore, there's nobody stressing you. And so when you are learning, I wouldn't even say learning the best or the most efficiently because you're not learning when you're stressed. Your brain simply cannot build long-term muscle memory patterns and all of it. It won't because you're stressed. You, it's trying to deliver. So whenever you're pushing yourself to play faster than you really can, whenever you're trying hard, then your brain shuts down and tries, okay, we're trying hard now. We're trying to play those three chords at a much higher tempo than we can really do it with accuracy and precision. So let me see if I can do that. And then it turns on the stress hormones, it, it squirts uh, cortisol and all kinds of stuff into your bloodstream. And then you're trying to make it happen, like if you were performing in front of people or playing a game of football. You're not practicing anymore, in, in no way. And the same thing goes, and that's why when the metronome starts, my best advice, of course, is to slow down. And I'm not saying that like, you know, because if you looked at my practice, my development, it was, I could have stand right next to me and say, you got to slow down, dude, slow down again. Oh, no, you're doing fine. You're doing fine for a couple of days. Now you got to slow down again because there's an, there's a, there's a, you know, we just do that. We just speed up because the monkey brain that we have is just trying, oh, I want to go faster. So let's go faster. And then it stops learning. It's just a caveman brain that's built over millions of years living in, you know, go hunting. And it's not built for anything as delicate as practicing guitar. Uh, so most of us play way faster than we really should if we focus on efficiency and getting there the fastest, right? So we basically become very good at making a lot of mistakes. That's what we practice because that, what, that's what we're doing all the time. And so if you can take that metronome and, and not only go to a level, because what happens is that once we, we feel, once we look at that metronome and we're stressed every time we use it, then we just look at the metronome and we're stressed basically. That's what just the connection happens in the brain where you just look at it and you just go, ugh, right? And so you have to break that first. So you have to take the metronome down and have it be so reasonably tempoed, <laughs> if that's a verb, so you can totally do it, no problem, right? And so, and just get used to the fact that you need to practice your timing and that's what it's there for, at a tempo where you can get everything right. Then raise it a little bit and be very conscious about when am I getting stressed here? And raise it a little bit. And your body, your monkey brain is going to tell, you're not practicing fast enough. We will never get there in this tempo. What are you doing? We're supposed to, you know, we want to learn to do this fast. Why aren't you practicing fast? And then you can answer your monkey brain because I'm not a complete idiot, right? Not everything is go hunting. Not everything is war mode. We actually need skills that we are not born with, right? <laughs> to play guitar. So 
focus on precision and accuracy because that's what you need. It's everywhere. It's not only in just you know practicing on a on a on a on that level. It's also on a very detailed level when it comes to picking. You want to focus on accuracy of picking depth because that's what screws up your picking motion. Is that you have uneven resistance all the time because your picking depth is not consistent. It it varies. So you have to power through and pick even deeper and just use a lot of force or hold your pick with three fingers or you know start using your arm or all those little shortcuts. That, that is there to compensate for the fact that you don't have a steady, regular picking depth that's totally consistent. So your brain can actually expect to have the same amount of resistance all the time, right? It can't be speed because everyone can do this, right? So you're fast. Okay, let's now see if we can discipline that, right? And that is accuracy and precision. It's everywhere. It's in courts, right? The second you can actually place your fingers easily, accurately, that's when you can do it fast. You know, how would you be able to do it fast if you don't can do it if you can't do it accurately, right? That's a D major. That's a C. At least I meant that to be a C major, right? That's a. You have to accuracy here. And then it's easy now because you focus on accuracy. The same thing goes here. Focus on accuracy. Take the stress out. And sometimes you have to take two steps back to leap 10 steps forward by simply putting that metronome at a level where you're not stressed and go all the way back to I'm all right. I'm not stressed. All is well. All is well. Just for a week, right? Until you can raise it again with ah, I'm getting stressed now, right? Because, you know, your body can be hysterical when you when you put it through enough stress, that's the same. That's the reason for dystonia as well. That musician's thing where your your hand just goes oh, and you can't play suddenly. You've been pushing and stressing and shoving and for so long that your body just goes. But I can't. I I can't take the stress anymore. Right? It doesn't have to go that far with you. I hope. Um, but if if you get that condition, or you have to really slow down, and you have to do that for a lot of months. So if you have to slow down for a week to make practicing with the metronome an enjoyable thing again, then, you know, peace be with it. Focus on accuracy and precision. Take the stress out of practicing, and I promise you, try to do it for just one hour. Focus on accuracy and precision, and then try to play fast or play that thing that you're playing faster than you, you, you did before, and you'll feel that added control, and it's just amazing what, how that works. Just amazing. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.